a shot at the king, you better not miss. Cancel culture came for Joe Rogan last week. Rogan invited doctors on his podcast to discuss early treatment for COVID and preventative treatment. And the Pfizer-funded media went berserk. First, they said he was dangerous for spreading medical misinformation. They basically accused his podcast of killing people. So Rogan hit back at CNN this week. The answer is not to silence me. The answer is to you to do better. The answer is for you to have better arguments. If you're in business and your business is the news and you want to get more people to pay attention, you should be honest. Stop this editorial perspective with guys like Brian Stelter and Don Lemon that nobody listens to. I nobody said, is like chiming in saying, oh yeah, finally we get the voice of reason. And the mob was split. Their power weakened. Here's Jon Stewart siding with Rogan. In the Iraq war, I was on the side of what you would think on the mainstream is misinformation. I was promoting what they would call misinformation. But it turned out to be right years later, and the establishment media was wrong. The establishment media is wrong a lot. But for them, how can something be wrong when it feels so right? So now they're just left dumbfounded. Well, I admit I'm out of ideas for what to do about Joe Rogan. I'm, I'm officially out of ideas. CNN's been officially out of ideas for a while, but I have an idea for him. Stop trying to get Americans fired and just report the news. But the media had another idea. Why don't we just turn black UFC fighters against Rogan? At a UFC press conference yesterday, the champ, Israel Adesanya, threw it right back in their face. And that's the playbook on how to deal with cancel culture. Don't listen to the noise and never give in. You'll be stronger because of it. You're in an octagon with cancel culture. And one person stays and the other leaves. And in this case, Rogan and Spotify remain in the octagon. And cancel culture slinks away and just finds a softer target to attack. That's how you play the game. Joining me now, Fox News contributor and the Hill Media opinion columnist, Joe Concha. And that's the playbook, right, Joe? Am I wrong? That is 100% the playbook. Never back down, never apologize, go forward and believe in free speech. And, and Joe Rogan's correct, by the way, Jesse. Not only is nobody listening to what Don Levin and Brian Stetler have to say, but no one outside of friends and relatives appears to be watching the network as a whole, right? 90% of the audience is gone, right, when compared to the same time last year. Now imagine that. Ten people are in an airport watching that network in early 2021, and now nine have left the gate. And you played the soundbite before, an anchor on CNN saying she's, quote, out of ideas about what to do about Joe Rogan? Is that an anchor's job to do something about somebody? Is this a Sopranos? <laughs> Meanwhile, here's how the scoreboard is going, right. right? 11 million people listen to Joe Rogan on a daily basis. CNN, international brand, 42 years with thousands of employees is watched by less than 500,000 viewers. Now, here's where all this effort to cancel Joe Rogan has resulted in. He's bigger than ever. He's yeah. more powerful than ever. And all the press he's received, good, bad, ugly, has only resulted in more people like me who really never really listened to Joe Rogan's podcast before, now checking him out on a daily basis. You know, you're so and right. more than a few are staying. Because yeah. I had never listened to Rogan until maybe like three or four weeks ago. I started hearing all this stuff about him because he was interviewing these doctors that were supposedly controversial. So I, I check yeah. him out. He's really interesting because all he does is ask good questions. And, and then all of a sudden they come after him, go for his throat, and they end up leaving the octagon, as I said, metaphorically. And this guy's stronger than ever. I think everybody needs to look at what happened this week with him and follow that playbook. Last word. Precisely. Rush Limbaugh, they tried to cancel him. Howard Stern, they tried to cancel him. And they only got bigger. Rogan has created a bigger market for himself now. If Spotify were to fold, there's Rumble to pay $100 million to him. Because in the end, greed, Jesse, works. Greed is yeah. good. Greed <laughs> clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Joe Rogan is unstoppable now, All Jesse. All right. Thank you very much, Joe Concha. Have a good one. Enjoy the game, man. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.